guys i just wanted to do, get another video kind of a not really a rant video this time just bring everybody about the speed with um everything going on with our next trip um doing a little bit of driving right now uh just dropped my work you know so this, this is how it kind of is this time of the year um unfortunately not a lot of camping going on just a lot of um us getting ready for the holidays um you know us uh kind of preparing the rv for the next trip which is still a little ways off actually trying to take a trip um probably around thanksgiving time frame um just to you know actually i'd like to have thanksgiving out in the rv don't know if that's going to happen you know i'm talking to my wife about it she seems fairly receptive but we'll see um she kind of claimed it would be a lot of work which put your comments below if you've ever you know done a thanksgiving especially if you've done a full feast you know from from the rv i i suggested to her just to do um partial feast you know maybe just the turkey and gravy some mashed browns hash browns mashed potatoes <laughs> um and a couple other dishes you know just to keep it easier but we'll see i don't know if that's going to happen but if we do it'll probably be last time we kind of we went to the mountains which is near here um little town called Jillian the road here so you can see because um, it got pretty good pickup up to what are we doing almost 75 and that was probably partially punched so um, it definitely will get up and move um, like doing it occasionally just to kind of clean things out normally just drive pretty mellow I've been trying to actually keep it under 70 um i don't know if you guys can see that but the mpg right about there uh, yeah it's right in the middle of the screen is 16.8 and so i had heard if you keep it under 70 you can achieve um pretty good results doing that um so anyhow just driving today a little bit talking to you guys um, got some of the things fixed that uh, I mentioned last time um, you know that water connection got a video on it which was super simple fix believe it or not um, what else what else um, yeah, it was. I thought it was a water pump, and it being a all ring on the water connection. Um, I got that generator, the champion. I want to do a video on, and I might do it in the next couple days. Um, we'll see. What I want to do is because you're supposed to run run the generators every month is what they say to do. And so what I want to do monthly is, everybody knows I got it in storage, the RV. So take it down the storage, you know, load it up in the back of the truck, take it down the storage, and just run it for like whatever, you know, like 15 minutes. Just hook it up to power, put a load on it. Um, you know, I want to do that monthly because, you know, you know what happens when the generators sit they just don't do well don't do well so um i'm gonna try and do that and the next one i when i do that because i did get a longer extension on my power cord to be able to do that so uh you know reason being 37 feet to the tongue being how the power connector is practically all the way in the front or I'll say the back of the trailer so it's a pretty long run 
but again just to run the generator and um, connect some power up that'll help me put a load on it you know I'll probably turn a few things on within in the uh, trailer just to make sure um, everything kind of works whatnot uh, maybe do another little laundry list that's that's what I like to do if you guys do watch the channel please subscribe please like and subscribe below uh, you know that I like to uh, you know run the um, or do do a laundry list when I go out there of items I, matter of fact I have a small list now it's really kind of building um, of items I need to look at or take out there or pick up so that's kind of how it functions um, you know love for you guys to be part of that leave a comment you know if you have a, a list you work from kind of pre-camping um, we have some other lists too like safety checks you know or towing checklists and they're down in the description check them out um, and not saying they're completely perfect um, you know it's been trial and error for me um, learning these things and things I found online and YouTube other youtubers and I've mentioned uh, in other videos that have had great ideas as far as you know what to put on the checklist um, you know there's a certain order of things you should do um, you should always chalk your tires number one once you're uh, leveled once you got your RV leveled, you're still hooked up, your trailer specifically, this is for travel trailer, um, before you disconnect, chalk your tires, um, you know, front and back. Even if you look at it and you think it's level, um, we had a situation, and I've mentioned this before, my wife and I, we were in Texas, and we disconnected, and it started rolling on us, and it was just me and her. And I don't think I did. I didn't have it chalked. I think we were kind of in a rush. And to be honest, it, it scared us. It did. And luckily, it, it hit the truck. Um, I forget now. I'm trying to remember how it even was. I think it was kind of just skidding across the ground at the time. Oh, no. I was using the little plastic Lego-looking blocks everybody has them we were using those at the time now we have the buckets which i think are a lot better but they're not 100 percent perfect either you still got to chalk before you disconnect it doesn't matter what you're using uh, but at the time we we're using the legos and as soon as as soon as we came off the truck it started going forward immediately um and then it stopped, thank God. I mean, it didn't roll that far. And nothing happened. Nobody was hurt. You know, my wife and I weren't hurt. But it got our attention to pay better attention to things. And it got me to do more research and actually create these checklists. You'll find the disconnecting and re you know, connecting, hooking up, um, you know kind of the whole thing and again if you see something that uh, we can add to those please please put it in the comments and we'll we'll do that if you know they make sense um you know everybody's got their own little ideas um about how to you know do the rving scenario i guess you could say um trailer trailer hookup you know um fifth wheel which i've never done so this is not really applicable to that but i'm sure it has its own series of checklists too uh matter of fact i'd be interested in see see one just to see what the differences are from a travel trailer to the fifth wheel. i imagine they're pretty close you know what do you guys think um anyhow i'm just driving doing a little driving today got the truck out um, it's pretty nice weather. It's like 80 degrees out west here. Um, my wife had a little foot injury at work, and so she can't drive right now, so I'm driving her back and forth. 
don't mind. It gets me out of the house a little bit and um, gives me a chance to make one of these videos for you guys. Um, I don't think I've ever done one drive while driving, but uh, hey, I figure I'd bring you guys along part of my day too. Um, but anyhow, um, other than that, uh, yeah, our, any bigger trips would probably be to Texas beyond that. Uh, we've talked about you know other shorter trips um, maybe a weekend trip to um, the uh, Mammoth Lakes area uh, there's a couple campgrounds around there maybe do a little fishing before the winter really sets in we don't have that much time if we're going to do it because as I film this it's at the end of October I think it's the 27th today of October so either one of those either it's going to be a thanksgiving probably a one day or which i'd rather at least do a minimum of two anywhere we go camping because that's the other thing if, especially if you're new or seasoned um, travel trailer owner you know camper that travels a large long distance and then you only stay in a park one night that's rough you know because there's a fair amount of setup involved and tear down you know, I prefer to have a couple days. Um, but, hey, there's people, I've seen them, you know, in the campground. I think some of them don't disconnect. You know, I, I really believe that. I, I believe that some of these people that pull into these campgrounds do not disconnect. Um, and they just, I guess they get as level as they can. But I know when we went up to South Dakota... Uh, those some of those campsites they were not necessarily level at all so but I guess you can disconnect if you don't mind, mind not being totally level or don't disconnect I should say um, you know set up go in and sleep you know do what you got to do put everything else away and then head back down on the road so I mean if you didn't have to disconnect shoot yeah you could be it's like just basically sleeping in your car even though you got a nice place to sleep because you got your trailer, but you're not disconnecting from anything. So you're not leveling up. Now, I guess if you pulled in and if it was level, you know, um, you could do that, no problem. But um, it's little things like that, guys, that you consider. Um, so we may do, I don't know, a couple day trip somewhere. I'd really like to go somewhere and stay a week, you know, just unload everything get set up you know because you have a tendency if you're only there a day you're not gonna you know we have mats we put down uh i'll try and put a picture of our last campsite i've included in it before i'm sure you guys have probably seen them um you know we have mats we put down for kind of cover the ground i mean we pull out tables and like everyone does you know you try and make it as uh, nice as possible Especially if it's nice weather outside where you can actually spend some time outside, you know That's another thing guys if you do have your RV and if you maybe you're new to RV When you set up camp and it's decent weather try and get outside don't don't spend your whole time in the RV I know some people do that and that's fine if that's your thing, you know, whatever um, But try and get outside a little I mean and enjoy it. I mean that's the RVs these days especially with Oh, they give you so many things to sit outside and be able to do that. Um, I mean, everything from, uh, you know, awnings, um, outdoor stoves, um, outdoor water connectors, outdoor T, I mean, there are TVs you can uh, hook up near the stoves. There's refrigerators. I mean, it's set up for outdoor life, you know, and I don't know. It just... And I, we've, you know, we've been guilty of it too. We've just sat inside for a couple of days and maybe, maybe usually it's because the weather's not that great. Um, or we're just be tired. We just want to rest. No, we, I get that too, but I don't know. If you do have a chance, just try and get outside a little, get some sunshine, get some vitamin D. <laughs> Anyhow, guys, um, still, still traveling back home after dropping my wife here i hope you guys are enjoying this i uh, appreciate all the subscribers 
really do. Um, I know the channel's starting to grow, and that's that's a good feeling. You know, let let me know, let us know in the comments what kind of videos you'd like to see. Do you want to see more on, you know, how to safely tow? Um, you know, or do you want to see more on just the truck? Do you want to see, you know, what what do you guys think? You know, what's your preference as far as these videos? Um, you know, try and try and do them to the best of my ability, or at least talk about them. And you know, maybe I can um, have someone on the show that if I don't know about a certain subject, maybe the fifth wheel one would be good. You know, if there's a fifth wheel expert that wants to be interviewed by me, let me know in the comments, uh, and we'll we'll make it happen. You know, because that that might be good. Just get a different angle, stuff like that. We can have fun with it things you'd like to see or maybe you want to shout out for your channel i don't have a problem with that either i mean this is this is really first and foremost i've told you guys i like making videos it's kind of a hobby for me but then i do love rving i do love the travel trailer um although sometimes i look at those class a's and i think wow that's pretty sweet to be able to just pull in and, and hit a button and it auto levels so maybe one day but for now you know what travel trailer is for us we love it um, you know, we got the toy hauler and we don't really use it to haul a toy. We use it for I got storage. The, uh, so. Ram 2500 diesel, uh, 6.7 turbo. Uh, and we got it specifically, specifically to tow that much weight. You know, it's a 10,000 pound trailer, you know, um, so this will tow 19,000 pounds you know one thing you know back up back to the truck now that's what i love about this channel because we're truck and trailer we can you know a lot of times you end up talking about both of them because it's just how it is you're trailing you know you're towing uh, your trailer you know it's something substantially heavy so you got to have the vehicle to do it and um but there's you know one thing i think i want to add and you guys let me know but is um really thinking about putting some airbags on so you know i really was trying to keep everything stock uh well the other thing i do want to eventually do is bigger tires which would take away from the gas mileage but i want to put some airbags on i just feel like that back end's a little, a little soft you know, I'll look at it with the trailer on there. You know, it's totally stock setup. And, then, and the reason they, I've been trying to leave it stock is they tell you is, you know, right out of the gate, you know, it's rated right from the factory. It's rated for a certain tongue weight, you know, and pulling weight. And the minute you, you know, hook up any third party, whatever, like, and I'm assuming airbags in this category, you possibly take away from its ability to, to tow a certain weight or rate rated for a certain weight so that's that's why i've been a little hesitant but i know airbags work we had them on the tundra and it was soft on the back end and i put them on there and it shored it right up no problem um so i'm really thinking about that if there's any upgrade to do on the truck i think that's going to be it i won't do that myself obviously um, I will take it in probably a good Sam or uh, uh, camping world camping world so we just tied into good Sam I think somehow some way I don't know I was always mixed up the two but anyway so that probably will be the next big upgrade on this um, just to get that back end up a little bit you know um, and I think I'll go with the type of airbags that I could pump up from inside. But anyhow, it uh, it was soft on the back end too. And we had probably, I think it was a 7,000 pound trailer. It was like, oh, I think it was another, I think it was actually another 30 footer. Now I think about it, it was pretty long. Uh, it was du dual axle, had a slide. You know, we, we actually really missed that trailer. It had a bunkhouse in the very back and it worked out perfectly especially when the kids were little anyways anyways so that's what i'm thinking 
let me know if you guys have, uh, or if you're running airbags now, especially on a ramp, um, you know, what's your experiences with airbags? You know, we can all learn together here and uh, get an idea what's the best route to take. But anyway, so I think I'm going to cut this short, guys. I think I've covered the topics. Or it's not really short. It's about a 20-minute video right now. So I think that's about our general length we try and shoot for. I think you go too much longer than that and people start, start losing it. <laughs> <laughs> not that someone already didn't click away after the first couple of minutes like what's this guy ranting and raving about but uh, this this is more of a positive one i know i've ranted about walmart ordering and yelp and all that before but um everything's going pretty good you know i know there's a lot going on in the country right now uh you know just everything i'm sure will go fine um and uh you know just pray and get through this, you know, we'll be in a better place afterwards, especially probably come January, maybe a little wait before anybody gets, you know, the candidate they, they, they want, um, hopefully a little more red than blue, if you know what I mean. So anyways, you guys have a great day and, um, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing again, participate so we can make the channel better, more, enjoyable for people they can see the videos they want and uh, i'll see you guys next time hey guys just wanted to do this quick video on the no code genius boost um picked this up not too long ago um fortunately haven't had to use it yet but it's ready if needed um this kind of replaces the old jumper cables that most of us uh 50 plusers uh used for years in the last couple of years these these came about um and they're really great they save a lot of space um they're probably safer overall and uh super convenient uh because it's more than just uh a booster it's got a light on it and usb charger so it's kind of a safety device too in that regard you could something you could throw in a, a bug out bag uh that type of thing um anyhow so this is the noco genius boost gb40 uh, for 12 volt they may make one for different types of batteries but basically turn it on here um tells you how much charge you have obviously if it's low you would hook up the usb over here standard usb for the car uh, and charge it uh, that's actually there's two of them one's one's to charge and one's to to get charged there um, actually pretty simple to use um, you just connect your clamps here to this side Cl clamps right in on that side um, and once you, provided you don't have a yellow a error here. Now, if you hook, the old days, you hook the clamps up, it was a bad thing backwards. I mean, if you hook them up, you know, red to black or something, uh, bad things happen. But this, if you do that, no worries. It'll give you an error right here and just let you know, hey, your, um, your batteries are reversed, essentially. So... Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty handy, it's pretty safe. Um, you know, most people can obviously handle operating something like that, even if maybe you've never jump started. It comes with pretty clear instructions as well. Uh, matter of fact, I'll link up the video down in this description. Uh, now, you can do a manual override on these, um, and that's right here. And that, that's where you would actually, um, if there's, there's safe, certain safety mechanisms that, uh, you know, this boost has built in that says, you know, if things aren't looking quite right, but if you, in your mind, you know, they're all hooked up right. And for whatever reason, you know, the boost here 
its internal safety mechanisms aren't allowing for essentially you to try and give it a jump start uh, you can hit that manual override and that's right there and that'll allow you to essentially set off the safety the internal safety mechanisms of the boost and allow you to go ahead and try and start the car now is that recommended probably not but it's a nice feature that they include no, nice to know it's there um, hopefully you'll never need it um, again it's got a light on it so that's pretty bright I mean shoot look at that just see there LED, nice LED light um, and again you can charge your cell phone off it so it's like a you know a lot of people they'll carry around extra batteries just for just in case for their phones you know and maybe in the car or whatever you've got going on but you know with obviously keep this in the car but this could also serve you know so you say you lost total power and you had to uh, you know have something at least charge your phone to for emergency type situation so again it's the noco genius boost um, fortunate enough not to have to use it yet <laughs> uh, knock on wood um, but it's there if needed and again it takes kind of the place of the old jumper cables that uh, many many of us use for many years which you needed another car <laughs> around too to to get the jump and it knocks that out too which was always a big you know a biggie if you there's not always in a second car around so this is kind of like your second car and your boost and your cables all wrapped into one so highly recommend it I'll look at link it up down below um, we'll try and keep these going with some of the other the gear that purchased uh, you know just to for safety reasons and um, recovery reasons towing reasons, things of that nature. So everybody have a great day.